Hey everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about all Backyard Baseball games on the PS2. Backyard Baseball uses the same strategy as the whole franchise, only that this time it translates baseball into a casual and child friendly game. There are again all MLB teams in the game and again they are just a picture and before a match you choose who you want on your team. The controls are intuitive but lack the depth of an MLB video game because the game tries to be as simple and easy to pick up as it can be. You get the same game modes as on big games like MLB, the only downside to the game is that the graphics don't look good, especially compared to the future backyard baseball games. Also the game is so slow, not just compared to future titles, but slow in general. Backyard Baseball 2007 cranked up the difficulty because so many complained about it in the previous iterations on other consoles. And now, some people complain that it's more difficult, you can't please anyone I guess. And even if you can change the difficulty in the settings, even the easier one is still pretty tough for the target audience, the little kids. Hitting can be challenging even with auto aim because 2007 borrowed from the simulation games. The controls are complicated for kids because there are so many options and so many button combinations. Also player stats are unbalanced, which will lead to unfair games. Also there are many bugs present in the game. It might look better, but the game feels many times half-baked. Backyard Baseball 2009 continues with the complicated control scheme. The game is still very slow paced, but strangely the game is still enjoyable to play. It has the same wealth of modes, it's again easy to pick up in spite of the controls, and it's cute. New to the game is the character creation tool, in Rust it's pretty much the same gameplay wise. But it has new content, meaning different stadiums, different players. 